G'day, g'day, it's Thomas here from Paradise Christchurch, New Zealand, and today we have another unboxing. Yes, it's another unboxing video. It's an engine you guys have probably seen before. It's been around for a while. Uh, this is one of the engines that I kind of accidentally bought a couple of weeks ago by putting on uh, a bid pretty much at the bottom that these engines are for sale for. Because everybody's interested in the new V-Twin, the new Harley V-Twin from Microcosm, As you know, I enjoy uh, I enjoy setting them up and getting them going. Now I've always uh, been attracted to the motion of this engine, although it's not a hit and miss. I love the fact that it's got tiny ball bearing cam followers. And we're going to read the Chinglish instructions. Mini engine M25, 990 grams. Okay, let's have a close look at this. Q close-ups. Okay, that's the uh, exhaust going up and down, and there's the intake. Uh, this is water-cooled. We have a little um, oil cup here, which is nice. And this hit and miss also has the fuel tank underneath it. Um, this is running really well, but I do want to add the little switch here so that it only fires when it's supposed to. This is not a hit and miss engine, this is a running all the time engine. Um, it's loosed up now that I've put some uh, WD-40 on there. Okay, well I guess we should try and get this going. I'm just checking for wiggle, no wiggle in the crankshaft at all, that's nice. Okay, so the, the, yeah, the compression's pretty good, actually. I don't think this is going to have any trouble running. Do you see those tiny little valve um, lifters? Those are tiny little castings. How cute is that? Under there as well. Cast flywheels. Uh, this is this is a very attractive engine. It's a very very sweet little engine. I actually can't wait. I'm going to have to get it going now. Let me just check the batteries. Three AA batteries. Best way to get water in there, I think, would be to squirt it in one of these fillers. Okay, I'm going to just get a bit of oil. And there. Let's have a play. Oh, I can't wait. I love for uh, I love for starting a new engine. You know, the first start. Oh, there's nothing quite like it. You always remember your first time, as they say. Uh, they're talking about engines when they say that, obviously. Okay, here goes the fuel. Oh, 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 a little bit rich, might just work on that. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? 
<laughs> so if you've flooded it, you just switch off the ignition, wind this backwards a couple of times. And let's move that into the light. Okay. Okay, switch back on the ignition. <laughs> it was running backwards, I'm sure. If I was going to review this engine, I'd probably give it a overall 9.5 out of 10. There's, there's, there's just nothing wrong with it. It's likely to last well because we've got um, ball bearing cam followers. That's one of the main things that attracted me to this engine. As you saw, it started right up. Yeah, look, um, it's a very attractive simple little engine um, eBay or engine DIY or sterlingkit.com any of those places would be the best way to get one of these lots of pretty movement open crank valves a little bit of casting here yeah it's uh, uh, this engine, sometimes the engines are, you feel like they're too small. The hit and miss at this scale is just on the verge of being too small for the hit and miss mechanism. Uh, and yet this one I think is, is perfect. At this scale, this one's fine. This, this one here is fine. 